Alrighty, we're up in the air here. Doing about 26 miles an hour, about 176 feet off the ground. Over here in the uh, Yamish country area, following David, he's going to be uh, doing what they call a candy drop. And he's also known as the Candy Man. About 5,000 RPM. Just let the trims out to about, uh, oh, about 10. Trying to fight this headwind and uh, catch up with David here. David's like going to be like Santa Claus. He knows exactly where he's heading. He's got all these houses. He makes his drops. It's a pretty nice windbreaker day. And there he goes. And the kids are just attacking the candy. This is the, um, it's either Bedford or New Bedford, but over here is where David works. These kids are pretty uh, used to these paramotors coming over and uh, dropping candy. Alright, so I really don't know where he's going. I just uh, kind of just follow him around here. I think he has a clue. He just looks for all the houses that's got a bunch of kids hanging out of them. Boy, that's a fancy house over here. Maybe that's a schoolhouse that he's flying over right now. A lot of buzzards flying around here, so when you see buzzards, you know that the uh, thermals are up. We're only about 350 feet in the air. That boy, you can just see for miles. But looking at that wind sock down there, looks like the wind's uh, coming from the left over there. As we turn, picking up to about 39, 40 miles an hour. Oh, a bunch of kids out in the field. That's what he did. He hit those kids in the field. Got them some candy. Okay, where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Yeah, down there on the right is about four draft horses pulling a plow. Jeff and Daya down there is definitely plowing the field. Let's see, that's five draft horses down there. Pulling that plow. It's been bouncy the whole time out here, so I don't know. Uh, I can't say it's uh, been real enjoyable. It's definitely not uh, like riding on a roller coaster, but it's uh, it's not uh, always that fun when you're riding around, just kind of swinging back and forth, left to right. As the evening uh, calms down, it usually will, will settle down. Doing about 28 miles an hour. The old train, choo choo train, steam roundhouse up here. A few miles. another bunch of draft horses over here and they're uh, look like they're seeding they're putting in seed it looks like There's about four or five of them over there all right we're heading back towards the LZ we're about 4.3 miles away 
we've already covered about 22 miles. I'm not very familiar with this area, but uh, thank goodness I've got uh, Fly Sky High. And I don't know if, uh, I think Gaggle's been running. Well, no it hasn't. So we'll just go ahead and start it up now and just record a flight with it. If it was a little smoother, I'd go ahead and drop down some. But it's just, uh, maybe it's smoother down low. Doing about 32. And I believe I see the runway straight ahead. About two and a half miles. Just kind of following this valley here. We're still about 700 feet just kind of slowly losing altitude, just doing some turns, checking out the scenery, getting a little hazy out there, been flying for almost an hour. Yeah, 35 miles an hour. Definitely got a pretty good wind going there. Okay. 